Lions attracted guests within and outside the football family as they all came to witness what can be best described as reward for hard work. It was a spectacle to behold when Gobekon's chief operating officer, Mohammed Jamil, handed over the keys of not one but two brand new cars to Super Eagles chief coach, Stephen Keshe, a Range Rover SUV and a Toyota Camry. This is a follow-up to the one million US dollars already given to the team when it was earlier hosted by the company's chairman, Chief Mike Adinga. I can't give one car to a coach because he would like to substitute. So there are two cars and if he's not happy with one car, he can substitute with the other car. So that's why two cars for Keshi. And uh, Globocom has a pedigree of rewarding, recognizing hard work and commitment. And Stephen Keshi is one such footballer in Nigeria. Well, right now, I don't have much to say. Maybe by the time I sleep over it tonight, and uh, I will have plenty to say. But uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. Uh, Mike Denuga for this great uh, gift. If you look at it, it's not just me. It's for other people just to keep pushing, just believe in what you do. Globacom has also tried the team to consolidate on this achievement by winning the Confederation Cup in Brazil this June as well as qualify for the 2014 World Cup. The telecommunications giant has further promised to reward future achievements by the team. From